This is the XPAR Modular Energy Mod. These nine units should help you create energy systems and reactor rooms that are both more flexible and prettier than you can get in vanilla. Let me take you on a tour. We have three reactors, light, medium, and heavy, three upgrade units, light, medium, and heavy, and three batteries, a battery, a capacitor, and a fuel cell. Let me show you some of the ways you can arrange them. You might find this on a medium frigate, three medium reactors, each one of which has a heavy upgrade, and also six batteries. My batteries are actually useful, although hopefully not overpowered, so you could use these batteries to kick in when you needed to do heavy maneuvering, whereas you'd leave the baseline load on the reactors. Here is the big brother of that. Each of these large reactors has two heavy upgrades, bringing each large reactor up to 220% operational power. Here's a more elegant solution. This has two large reactors, each one of which has been hit by four medium upgrades, a small upgrade, and a large upgrade. That makes these reactors very, very powerful for their weight. We've also got a fuel cell in the mix. Fuel cells can store a tremendous amount of power, but they only output as much power as a small reactor. We've got some medium reactors on the other side, because they fit into the space and because medium reactors are really great at wiring into conveyor systems. Here's a cargo ship. I've attached some Sage engines to the back of this cargo ship. Normally, if you wanted to have these kinds of heavy engines, you'd have to have a reactor room capable of always producing that much output. But what I've done is I've put in some capacitors. Capacitors can put out a tremendous amount of energy, but they can't store very much. It's just enough to let you run those Sage engines for maybe 10, 20 seconds, so you can get this ship up to speed, but you can't, you know, keep using that power. The power is provided by these four small reactors with two upgrade units, and the batteries are switched on and off automatically by an AI called Freya. Freya is not quite ready for prime time, but if you wanted an early release version, you could steal her from this game world. Here's a fighter with the same basic philosophy, Sage engines and a capacitor. This fighter is called the Baby Elephant because it has a medium reactor with a large upgrade unit attached and it kind of looks like an elephant. It performs very well, but it does have a limited lifespan since that, rea since that capacitor won't last very long. Here's a ship with no reactors at all because, in this case, the fuel cell can last up to two days so there's really no risk of accidentally running out of power and getting stranded. Here's a drill system. I've used two small reactors, and because of the small reactor's unusual conveyor system, I've used those to hook into the sides here, so my, con my uh, reactors are actually part of my core conveyor unit. It's also got a capacitor, because it's got some heavy engines on the back, so that you can get up to speed nice and fast. These are the sorts of things that you can build using my system. It's balanced to be lighter, but a lot larger than vanilla systems. This is counterbalanced by the fact that these batteries are really effective and efficient. Uh, I really do recommend getting used to using batteries and capacitors. They are very useful. Uh, and overall, I think that it looks great, feels great. Uh, you'll have to let me know what you think. A lot of this stuff was created with help from Joseph Hayes, and if you have any particular uh, uh, urge to model or texture for me, feel free to contact me. I love working with people. If you created thrusters, please contact me, because I'd love to work with you and create some moddable thruster packs. That said, it's free, so grab it. Do whatever you want with it. Send me some, uh, some pictures, because I really love to see what people do with my, uh, with my stuff. And if you feel it's a little overcomplicated, don't worry. You can just stick in some pretty reactors, and it'll work okay.